once we decided we needed to automate, we investigated various applications. Um, we investigated uh, Revit, um, which is more akin to the buildings industry, but we found that it didn't achieve the level of detail of model we required. Um, we looked into Inventor and we created um, automated models using iLogic, um, but these are very big models, very complicated models. So we, we looked at Advanced Steel, which is built on the AutoCAD platform. Most of our users are capable of using AutoCAD. Um, we liked Advanced Steel because it's very flexible um, and it was uh, sort of that mid-level fabrication detail that we're required to design. So we then looked at programming languages, um, so we looked at Lisp, uh, we looked at Dynamo um, and uh, we considered C-Sharp. Um, Dynamo we found was very new to Advanced Steel, um, it didn't have the functionality, you couldn't select member sizes. Um, Lisp is fairly old technology, it's going to be rooted in AutoCAD forever. Um, but uh, they, they don't develop it to the extent that they do uh, with, with other programming languages. Um, the other thing that we thought actually was, was with things like C Sharp, um, we would need to talk to databases, we would need to talk to Excel and other applications, um, and Lisp isn't as good for doing that. Um, it can do it, but it's not as good at doing it. So yeah, the decision was advanced deal with C Sharp um, using SQL databases. The automated modeling system revolves around simple Windows forms. These link together through basic C Sharp as part of a .NET plugin in Advanced Steel. The gantry model is formed of two key parts, the frame and the equipment. And these are done in stages in separate forms as to advise the user on how to use it and generate a model. All the data within the models are stored in JSON strings as part of the DWG dictionary. This data can be accessed at any point, be it externally to the file or internally to the file to see what objects form part of that gantry. And this creates a gantry product that we can edit, change, manipulate as we see fit. By combining c -sharp programming and Advanced Steel's .NET functionality, we're able to get the best of both worlds where we get the automation as well as the accuracy and the high level of detail associated with Advanced Steel products. This leads to a much more rounded and detailed product that we can then give on to the client. So the automation has, has um, unleashed the models um, and, and now we can create the models and the drawings at the same time but we wanted to make the models the main driver for the drawing. Um, so when we started looking at the automation of drawings, actually Advanced Steel's um, drawing capability is exactly what we needed. We've got to the process that we now use the Advanced Steel model which is generated from C Sharp code and the Advanced Steel standard drawing production macros um, to come up with a set of drawings that are compliant with our standards and provide the client with all the information that they need. Following on from this initial stage of automation, we are looking to extend the use of the data stored within the DWG so that we can use it for design elements as well as other elements needed in the project lifecycle. Currently, we are looking at the design side of the process. What we've decided to do is extend the use of the data stored in the DWG to create a model file from this. By doing it this way, we're able to effectively use data as and when required, rather than being restricted by certain applications. Our development of this automated system, I believe, is unlike anything I've seen in the industry to date. To bring product design um, principles to a civil engineering project um, where there is such variance in a gantry, particularly when you're looking at design equipment um, and, the, and the control equipment that are required for the smart motorways program, um, is, is an amazing feat um, and something we're very, very proud of.